The hunt is on right now for two suspects in the fatal shooting of a Colorado sheriff's deputy. Breaking news, national correspondent William Lajeunesse is monitoring the situation from our West Coast newsroom. The dragnet around Denver continues tonight as police charge one man and search for two others in the shooting death of 32-year-old deputy Heath Gum. Walking, that's when I heard the gunshot. That's when I seen police activity and just craziness ensued. 7 p.m. Wednesday night, police respond to an assault in progress. Three men flee. Police give chase and find one hiding behind a house. When deputies caught up to the male, the male pulled out a handgun and started to shoot at our deputies. Striking one of the deputies in the chest. Deputy Gum, a five year veteran of the Adams County Sheriff's Department, died at the scene. It is a great, incredible sadness that we report that our deputy was transported and pronounced dead at the hospital. This video shows police taking the suspected killer into custody. Two others, described as black or Hispanic males, remain at large. We're still currently looking for two additional suspects that were involved with this incident. A procession of law enforcement led the hearse carrying Deputy Gum's remains to the coroner. Residents joined officers who braved the cold to pay their respects. Officers don't get a lot of um, respect. They don't also get a lot of um, honor of what they do for us in protecting us to be safe. Less than a month ago in neighboring Douglas County, Deputy Zach Parrish was shot and killed as he tried to talk a mentally ill man out of a house. Gum becomes the seventh officer killed in the line of duty this year, four by gunshot. Flags are now flying at half staff throughout the state. Deputy Gum leaves behind a wife and family. The man arrested in his murder is expected in court tomorrow. Brett? William, thank you.